dogs are a big element of the murder bag. Uh, the first time we meet, um, we meet Max Wolf. He's, he's looking at a German Shepherd outside of a station where there's about to be uh, a terrorist attack. And Max has a, a dog. He has a small dog. He doesn't have the kind of macho dog that you might expect him to have. And I, I like the fact that he's got a, a small Cavalier King Charles Spaniel called Stan. I like the fact that he hasn't got a big macho dog. And hopefully, you know, this is one of the things that's going to make him real, that there are these surprising elements about him. I, you know, I'm a big fan of Clint Eastwood, and I'm a big fan of Jack Reacher, and I, I like tough guys. I, I like um, macho heroes. But Max Wolf, I think he's a bit more, a little bit more flesh and blood than all that. You know, I mean, hopefully he does seem a little bit more real than all that. And the dog is very important. It's a very small little family, you know? It's a small little family. There's this, there's this 29-year-old detective, and there's this five-year-old little girl called Scout, and there's this small little spaniel, and they live in a big loft overlooking Smithfield Meat Market. And I, what I would love is I'd love millions of people all over the world say, I want to be there with them. I want to be there with that man and that little girl and that dog, you know? And dogs are very important, and dogs are... Um, a lot of characters in the book are defined by the dog that they've got. So, uh, you know, it's, um, it's, it's a book that's going to appeal to dog-loving crime fans, hopefully.